I'll show you now how to create a new ticket or issue and the fields that we consider the most important in terms of being able to organize and catalog uh, your work effort. So when you click this plus sign over here, um, you'll go to the create issue modal. Um, and first you can select your issue type. Um, and the available types uh, are defined when you set up the project. Uh, here we have um, epics, which are basically um, chunks of work that are too big to, you know, all be done in the same ticket. Um, so epics are, um, you know, maybe maybe functionality that includes front end work, back end work, database changes, um, basically work that needs to be broken down into chunks. Um, tasks are uh, units of work that are feasible to do in one branch and one ticket and one person. Um, and so tasks would belong to a particular epic uh, if, they, if they had been broken down that way. Um, also user stories. Um, so if you're familiar with Agile, you know the concept of user stories. You can create um, tickets of that nature. Um, and we have bugs. So we can select what kind of an issue it is. Let's say it's a bug. Um, you wanna write a descriptive summary here, um, since the summaries are what are, is gonna appear on your board. Um, and here you wanna describe the issue as, as in as detailed as you can, uh, but a picture can be worth a thousand words, right? So one really neat thing is you can attach, um, you could attach video files or screenshots to show um, right here. You can attach files to show what you mean. Or if this is a new feature, you can attach, say, the design for that feature so that the developer can see exactly what they need to uh, build. Um, fixed version. Um, is important. So usually an issue is created and the project manager decides which fixed version to go to. Um, so we have our first release uh, for MedRav. Um, so let's say it's a bug that was of enough urgency that we wanted it to go into this next release. Well, we can, we can state that here. Um, and I will show you soon um, how we do release management in JIRA. Um, this fixed version can be very important because this way you can map out the progress on a given release. Um, you can give it a priority. Um, labels are ways that you might be able to cluster together um, things. So you could cluster together new feature ideas. Um, you could cluster together UX work so that um, a designer can easily search on all the, the work that they need to do that's design related. Um, or you can uh, have labels for different features. Um, and that can be helpful so that if a developer has a, a lot of tickets on their to-do list, if they um, filter them by label, that way they can easily see um, what they can maybe knock out really quickly by you know, doing everything related to a given feature at the same time. Environment is often overlooked, but important. So let's say you have a live production environment as well as a testing environment, as well as um, the developers having their own development environments. It's really important when somebody finds a bug to say which environment they saw it in because there could be um, difference in configuration that's causing the issue or, you know, is, is necessary for the issue to happen, or there may be different versions deployed on different state of things. So to know what we're talking about, it's really important to put the environment. Um, here's where we can attach files, which we already talked about. Um, if you know the version that is being affected by a given problem, you can put it there. Um, linked issues is really um, important. So if you are aware of um, issues that this ticket is related to, you can put them here. Or if you have found an issue that maybe blocks the completion of other features. So let's say you um, found a bug in a feature that's being expanded. Um, maybe that bug would block 
the new development on that feature. So you can say blocks and you can search for whatever, um, whatever ticket, you know, has that relationship with this one. Um, one time that this can really come in handy is sometimes if you, especially if you have multiple testers or if they've, you know, tested a while back and forgotten something, um, if they submit an issue that it has already been documented in another ticket, you can mark this as a duplicate. Um, and that way you can mark it as done and, and get it off your plate. Um, so this can be very important in terms of organization. Uh, you can pick the assignee. So a lot of times if you're a tester, you, you don't really know which developer would be best for a given task. Um, you know, and, and, and plus delegation should probably be done by the project manager anyway. So the default that JIRA will do is it will assign all new issues without an assignee to um, the owner of the project, which is usually the project manager. Um, but if, um, if you happen to know who should be given a certain you know, task, you can select um, a person to assign it to. Epics, so if you know that a task is um, related to given epic, so for us, we have hospital functionality as an epic. So that's a huge chunk of work that's going to be done to um, take MedRev from a product that is um, currently usable for uh, practices with multiple locations, but not necessarily the um, structure, uh, the complexity of structure of a hospital. So you can say like, okay, this, this ticket is related to that epic. And I'll show you how that comes into play, like how you can view tickets that are all related to the same um, epic. You can organize marketing related development, all, all sorts of ways that you can use epics and labels to sort your tickets. And finally, if you know what sprint this should be done in, you can select it here.